Alright, testing, testing, three, two, one. Ah, should be good. Alright, boys. I know it's, it has been a very long time since since I made the last video. Okay, now for this video, now uh, uh, today, I think uh, today and tomorrow I'm going to uh, post a uh, free uh, videos. Okay, now, let's try my best. I'm going to talk about chapter eight homework, chapter nine homework, and then finally we are going to talk about chapter ten elasticity. Okay, so let's not waste time. We start with chapter eight homework first. Okay, now here chapter eight. Remember. This is about demand and supply, but not yet change. Not, not yet about change. Not yet about change. So this chapter is relatively easy. Not yet about change. All right, start. So let us move on. Here, number one, it asks the basic question. What, are the, what is the difference between wants and demand? Okay, now remember, when we talk about demand here, okay, you that. When we talk about demand, demand. This word, obviously, there is a component of want. They use soon, you since you demand yet, okay? But remember, demand is want supported by purchasing power. Okay? So here, let's see. Poor people have wants. But they do not have demand. Now, this is tempting, right? But let's circle this word, poor. Because my poor, 就等于 no purchasing power 咧，又唔系嘅喎。我冇钱唔代表我买唔到嘢噶。我只系买啲 cheap 啲嘅。I only buy cheaper things, right? It doesn't mean I don't have any purchasing power. So I don't think A is correct. Here, B. Wants does not have to be supported by purchasing power. Demand must be supported. So this is our standard answer, right? 係咪啊？嗱頭先上面嗰句啦。Here, rich people have demand but not wants for it. 喂，如果啊呢度啊睇住 ，if no wants, then it automatically means no demand, which doesn't make sense, right? Which doesn't make sense. So C is not correct. Now D. Want refers to the consumer's willingness to buy goods, while demand refers to ability. Now, 头先我哋讲咗系咪吓 ？Demand 系 willingness. Here, remember, willing and able. 有想要有得噶嘛 ？Right. So this is our question one. Here, let's go to question two. When constructing the demand curve, representing a、uh, secondary school、uh, student's demand. What is assumed to be variable now? Here, think about it. What they let you find by it? A very important law we call the law of demand. Okay. Now, according to the law of demand, it says the higher the price, the lower the QD. Okay, a good thing. Other things being constant, ma. Other things being constant. So here. According to the law of demand, which a demand curve should follow, there can only be two things changing. Okay, number one, only price. Number two, quantity demanded. These two are the only things that can be variable. 得呢兩樣嘢喐得啊，因為點解啊？其他要保持不變啊嘛。如果其他嘢變咗，即係咩意思啊？ If other changes, then the law of demand doesn't apply. Then you can't also, you can't, you also cannot draw one single demand curve, 係咪？因為變咗啊，所以唔再係 law of demand 可以管制嘅範圍啦。Okay, so variable, like we said, fee. Okay, 嗱 ，quality 啦 ，quality 係咪 price 係咪 QD 啊 ？No, pocket money, basically income. Is it price? No. Is it quantity? No. Degree of necessity. Is it price? No. Is it quantity? No. So, all of this belongs to our other things being constant. 下面三个全部都系 other things 啊。Okay 嘛 ？Alright. So moving on. Here, number three. According to the law of demand, holding all other things constant. 我哋啦，望望啦，根据 law of demand， 
，如果所有嘢都 constant 啦，嗱，其實啦，你咩意思啊 ？According law of demand, higher the price, lower the QD， 係咪啊 ？When the price increase, QD increase. Unfortunately, this is wrong. 應該 decrease 啱啊，係咪 ？Increase in QD leads to decrease in price. 嗱，睇落好似好啱係咪啊 ？QD decrease, price increase. But unfortunately, this is also not correct. 衰啲咩啊？衰咗個因果關係咯，係嘛 ？No, it doesn't go this way. Remember, price go goes first, QD goes second. 得唔得？一定係 price 行頭嘅。You cannot say QD causes the price to change. No, and o、oh, no. Okay, that is not the law of demand. 好啦 ，increase in price. Decrease in demand， 佢話啦 ，P 升 ，D 跌，啱唔啱啊？梗係唔啱啦。Remember， we keep saying Q D decrease， not demand decrease。If you want to know the differences between Q D and D， refer to my previous video when I talk about demand。OK， 好唔好啊 ？Now， so C is incorrect answer here。We have D， lower the price。Higher the QD, yes, that is true. What? Okay, good. Now number four. Assuming price increase, okay. Assuming price increase. Per,、uh, which of the following person's consumption is consistent with law of demand? Nah, 根据 law of demand 啊 Again, P increase, QD would decrease. Other things being constant, right? Miss Lee buy the same quantity. You my wall. Same quantity. My 同我哋呢度 contradiction 咯 contradiction. Do you see? We should have decreased, not same. So A incorrect. Use the same amount of money. Actually, this is the answer. Now, we have to relate a little bit to our elasticity. Remember. We say T E equals to P times Q, right? 係嘛？其實 T E yes, it is possible that T E remains unchanged. How? Let's see. Price increases, Q decreases by the same percentage. Then yes, T E would actually、uh, would remain unchanged. But look at here, price increase, Q decrease. This is actually consistent with the law of demand. Now. To jump a little bit, this is the point when elasticity is exactly equals to one. Or、uh, sometimes, if the whole curve, whole curve is e d equals to one, then that would be a unitarily elastic demand. Okay. Now, don't worry. We will talk about more in our chapter ten video. Okay. Now, 我咪知啦 Still buy potato chips. 咩啫？我鬼知啊。Still buy? Yes, you still buy. But do you buy more or do you buy less? How do I know? You don't tell me. So unfortunately, okay, we buy more. No one, no one. We just say P increase, Q D should decrease. Right? 好嘛 ？We just say this. So D is incorrect. 嗱 ，C 讲多次，讲多次。你惊有啲人唔明啊 ？Still buy potato chips. 嗱 ，think about it. Think about it, okay? Think about it. Now, it can be from ten to one. This is consistent, but we can also have inconsistent case. One to ten, but do you see? Both cases are still buying as long as it's not zero. You don't believe it's not zero, right? So you are still buying. So we actually do not know about this case. Okay, 好嘛 So moving on. Next one. Supply curve. Now, do you see? It shifts from point A to point B. 佢而家 A 度啦 ，shift 咗去 B 嗰度啊。Okay, now this is a move along the curve, which means this is actually a P decrease, Q S decrease. But not, not a decrease in supply, because if we have a decrease in supply, it would look like this. 
，呢個就係 decrease in supply 啦。But no, we are not decrease in supply. We are actually only move along the curve from A to B， 好嘛 ？A to B 啫，我哋而家係好唔 ？A to B here。All right, let's see. Which of the following will cause a movement from A to B? We need price to decrease and QS to decrease. People buy more and more. More, of course, not correct. We need to be fewer or less. Okay. Now, the quantity demanded decreases. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure if we know anything about quantity demanded. Okay. 唔係呢個咁講 ，Do you see the demand curve? We actually don't see it, right? We actually don't see it. So we actually don't know. How do we know? We don't see the demand curve, right? Lower the price of apple juice, 咪就係咯。Lower the price 咯，係咪啊 ？P D Q S D 咯。Sell more shops, sell. 哇，冇玩啊 ，right? So C is the answer right here. Okay, dum da. Not not too difficult. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one, upward sloping from left to right illustrates that a change in price would affect supply. No, 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 no. It only shows that an increase, uh, sorry, increase in pi price would affect quantity supplied, not supply. 係咪啊？佢影響 QS 啊。唔係影響 S 啊 ，S supply refers to the whole shifting of the whole curve. Okay, so no. Now B, price of a good must decrease when its quantity supplied decreases. Looks like correct, right? Q S decrease, P decreases. But I think you already know what is wrong with it. No, it doesn't go this way. It should go this way. Price decrease. QS decrease, not QS decrease, price decrease. No, causality problem. 错咗因果关系啊，得唔得 ？Now next one, decrease in price, decrease in QS. Yes, that is true. Okay, price and supply is positively related. No, price and quantity supplied is positively related, not supply. Okay, so un unfortunately, it is wrong. Right, moving on. Now here, we are going to talk about determination of of equilibrium pricing output. Now remember, when we talk about equilibrium, we are talking about the point when Q D equals to Q S. Right? Exactly, 等于 Q D 等于 Q S 嗰点啦 And remember, verbally speaking, equilibrium means no tendency to change. 唔變啦，係咪唔變咁解啦 ？Right, so let's see here. This we have a table, QD, QS, and unit price. 典型嘅題目啦。Now, when market price is fifteen here, 呢點啊 ？So let's just let's just draw it out. Okay, when price equals to fifteen dollars, then you see. QD would be fifty, fifty, right? And QS would be thirty. 五十三十啦，见唔见啊 ？So you see here, QD is bigger than QS. Basically, what it means here, let me translate this into English for you. It says, too many、uh, consumers. But too few sellers. 咁即係呢嘢夠定唔夠啊 ？Definitely insufficient in the market. Insufficient quantity to satisfy the consumers. Not enough. We call shortage, right? Surplus. You can go away. Okay. 好啦 Now, when we have shortage, remember. When we have shortage, think about、um, the Wang Ziwa, Wang Ziwa's concert. Okay, when there is shortage, some people cannot get the ticket. What happens to the black market? Somebody will sell it super high, right? 坐地
既然咁受歡迎 ，right？ So popular that some people cannot get it. They are still waiting. Then, as a true economist, we raise the price to increase our profit, right? So, A is the answer right here. Okay, 嗱問到個問題啦。Up to when? Up to when? In fact, it would increase until equilibrium is reached again. And in this case, our equilibrium here, here, here. Forty units, all the way up to twenty dollars. Then it will stop. Okay, done that. All right. So let us move on further. Now here, when there is an excess supply, excess supplies, meaning QS, too many sellers. I'm、oh, sorry, too many sellers, not enough buyer. This is the meaning, okay? Excuse me. Equals no, not equals. Here, QD equals to QS. This is not correct. Now, B QD equals to quantity transacted. Uh, let's skip this one first. We look at other options first. QS equals to quantity transacted. This one we also skip. Then we look at these two together. The quantity supplied is smaller. 哎，啱啱倒转咗咯。So, which one is correct, B or C? Here, remember, again, let's say there are one hundred sellers, only ten buyers. So let me ask you a question. Finally, how many deals would be made, assuming each buyer only wants one unit? Obviously, the lower number would take would take the lead, right? You think ah, you have one hundred seller, ten buyers. Once these ten buyers are exhausted, there will be still ninety sellers. They will be unhappy because no buyer here, right? No buyer here. So you see, 好吗 We always. Take the smaller number here, QD being the smaller. So, yes, B is the answer. QD equals to quantity transacted. Okay, 好吗 So next one. Suppose suppose the market of econo economic reference book is at equilibrium. Equilibrium, lah, 咩意思啊？记唔记得 ？E X C C. QD is exactly equals to QS. That's the meaning, right? Now, which of the following statement is incorrect? Let's see. Some publishing companies will destroy unsold. They want unsold. Ah, do we have any unsold economics textbook? No, because we have one hundred textbook, one hundred buyers. It's just clear, okay? Just clear. Just clear. So A is not correct. Now B. Some people who are willing and able to pay the price cannot buy. No, QD just satisfied. So this is also not correct. The price has a tendency to change. Equilibrium means no tendency to change. So C is also not correct. Answer: None of the above. None of them is correct. Oh wait 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 wait. None of them is E. Oh yeah yeah sorry 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 sorry. Incorrect. So, yes, C is. Eh, my sin. Hmm. Ah, I think this one is a little bit. Ah, yeah. I think all of the statements here are incorrect. Okay. So, D. I think it should say all of the above. 全部都唔啱啊，應該係 OK all of the above should be all of the above, not none of the above. OK. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Now, next one. Now the differences between scarcity and shortage. OK. Now let's talk about it. Scarcity. It means resources not enough to satisfy all wants. 
right? For shortage, it means QS not enough to satisfy all QD. Okay, so let's see which one is incorrect. Yao Hai incorrect. Uh. Even when there is no scarcity, shortage may exist. No, A is already incorrect. Now think about it. When there is no scarcity, it means there is more than enough. Right? If there is enough, then why would there be something that is not enough? So A is incorrect already. Now let's see others. Even when there is scarcity, shortage does not necessarily exist. Yes, this is correct. Now think about it. When E when QD is exactly the same as QS, we call this equilibrium. In this situation, no shortage. No shortage. But when QD equals to QS, we may still have a price. When you have a price, there is competition. When there is competition, there is scarcity. Okay, so B is correct. C, shortage will not exist if there is no scarcity. This is correct. I won't explain again, okay? Scarcity must exist when shortage exists. Yes, this is also correct. Shortage means something is not enough, right? Scarcity, something is not enough. Definitely will exist, okay? So, finally, now, now this one, I think this topic is actually one of the hardest topic in this chapter. We talk about money price and relative price, okay? Now, actually, number 11 is a bad question. So, I, my advice is you try to skip it when you're doing your study, okay? This is purely mathematical, okay? Now here, when money price of a good increases, its relative price will decrease. Now here, think about it. Let's say PA. Price of good A is $5. Price of good B is also five dollars. Okay, now originally, originally, so when you buy one A, you are giving when you buy one good A, you are giving up one good B. Now let's say, let's say here now P A becomes ten dollars. Okay, so now if you buy one A. You are using ten dollars. You are actually giving up two good B. Actually, not decrease, but increase. Okay, come on. So these two are not correct. Now, option two, option two. When relative price of a good decreases, it money price must decrease. Well, actually, this one is we don't know. Now, let's do it, let's do it, okay? Now, consider the two, right? You use this reciprocal relationship, then you know. So, two is also not correct. The answer will only be B, number three, okay? Am I? Number three, number three. All right, now, finally, question 12, question 12. Here, they give you a table. They give you a table of good A and good B at two different years, okay? Now, let's see. Here, A from the graph, it says the price of good A increase in price of good A is lower than that of good B. Let's do it. Here, the percentage change of good A of good A from, from 15 to 20 dollars. I think you can already see this is a 33% increase, right? I'm asking the sound sound percent. Well, now here 25 to 30. Okay, here we only increase by 20%. So, percentage increase of A is actually higher than that of B. So, A is not correct. Relative price of good A decreases. Let's try it. Okay, now. In 20x4, when you buy 1A, 
Okay, you are giving up. Let's see. Uh, I think this is twenty. Let 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 me do the calculation first. Wait a little bit. Okay, my calculator. Yes, my cal. Twenty five divided by. Yes, used to be one point six six seven b. Okay, now under the new price two o x five. When you buy one A, you might see, might see, might see. Mo isa. When you buy one A, you are only giving up zero point six. I'm so sorry. Zero point six B. Ha ma? Sub mon hai fon hai jo ling dim lok kin good B gam gai jama. Here in two O X five. Let's do it again. Okay. You are actually giving up by twenty dollars. You can buy. Zero point six six seven could be. So here you see the relative price of A actually from zero point six to zero point six six seven. It increases. Okay, so B is also not correct. People will consume relatively more could be. Of course, here relative. Price of good A increases, so relative quantity demanded would decrease. 好吗 Good A, the red good A consume relatively less, meaning they will consume relatively more B. Okay, this is a mathematical relationship. Again, again, if you struggle here, I suggest you should go back to my video. That talks about law of demand. Okay, now finally, percentage decrease is the same as that. No, of course not. Of course not. Or else, if the percentage decrease are the same for both good A and good B, then there will be no change in the relative quantity demanded. Okay, which doesn't make sense. Okay, done that. So that would be all for our MC now. Let us go to the short questions and long questions here. Two, we have two lovely lady, Emma and Elaine. Okay, unfortunately in our school, no Elaine, no Emma, so no lovely ladies. All right. Now here, do they have the same demand? Let's look at what they say. I buy two bottles of perfume, no matter the price. Then Emma says, "Me too." But here, remember, one A. The answer is no. Okay. Now, the reason is simple because the time period. Now remember. Demand we have to refer to a certain time period. For example, within a week, within a year, within a day, and those kind of thing. Time period, unfortunately, is not specified. Now, what do I mean here? What do I mean here? Okay, what do we mean here? We mean is that let's say, Yilin, two bottles. Per day, 哇！每日兩支香水黐線，佢想做咩啊？想想想想湊死人啊 ！Emma also says, "Hey, I buy two 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 bottles, but maybe that is per year." You see, these two situations already vastly different. 已經佢哋嘅 demand 係好唔同噶啦。Okay, unfortunately, in this question, not yet specified, so we do not know. Okay, now question one B. Here, are the demand consistent with the law of demand? We need to explain with a demand supply diagram. Now here, look at the statement again. The statement says, no matter what the price, one dollar, two dollar, three dollars, etc. I will still buy. Two bottles remains unchanged. So this would be the demand. Now here, you see, price increase, QD unchanged. Is that consistent with the law of demand? No, it is inconsistent because in the law of demand, it is stated that increase in price should result in lower QD. But obviously. This is not happening, so this is inconsistent. 
o k 得唔得？嗱，呢條上堂講咗啦，所以唔嘥時間我嘛。嗱 ，moving on，moving on。嗱 on. ，it is observed that there is usually a long queue。嗱，逢親叫 long queue 啦 ，write it down。Whenever you see long queue， you know we are having a shortage here。係嘛？唔夠啊！好多人想要，但係唔夠位俾佢啊。To be admitted to some prestigious kindergarten。OK， here。Kindergarten， 喂，串錯字喺度。啊 ，this is classic mistake。Kindergartens，OK，very、okay? important English English problem，OK、okay?。In Hong Kong， and dozens of students compete for a single seat。OK， now we need to illustrate this。好啦 ，shortage， 點解 shortage 即係咩意思啊？ Shortage meaning Q S is not enough to satisfy all Q D, right? Now, normally we always have this demand, supply, right? Now, this would be our equilibrium price, and this would be our equilibrium quantity, right? Unfortunately, right now, our Q S should be lower than Q D. When would our Q S Be lower than QD from this graph. You see, only when it is below. Okay, below. You got this one here. This is the price that we are at currently. Below equilibrium. Then you see, well, QS right here, QD right here. Now, this one, we draw a label. We call this our shortage. Okay. This is how we draw the diagram. Now, to explain it, there are several points. You need to write the important point here. Long Q implies shortage. This is our number one point. So sorry. Number two, it happens when price. Is set below equilibrium such that QS is smaller than QD. This is how you write it using words. Okay, not a lot of things, but many of you miss this out. Many of you write this implies shortage, QD smaller than QS. But remember. You need to specify prices below equilibrium. This is very important from DSD standard. Okay, done, done. Now, if you are okay, then we shall move on. Now, we need to explain whether the following statements are true or false. Now, here, whenever a good is in surplus, there is no scarcity. Now, obviously. This is false, right? Now, the reason, the reason is simple. Remember, scarcity exists. Make you scarcity, yeah? When resources cannot satisfy all wants. So here, in surplus, I'm sure someone's wants has not been satisfied. Whose wants? At least we can conclude that some sellers are not satisfied. 起码一定有啲人卖唔出嘢啦，系咪啊？卖唔出佢肯定系未未 satisfied 啦，系咪啊？肯定未 satisfied 啦，系咪啊 ？Some sellers' wants are not satisfied. So scarcity exists, right? 系咪啊 ？Again, again. Surplus meaning, 了解啊 It means too many sellers, not enough. Oh, oh, come on, come on, not enough buyer. 唔够 buyer 吗 So some sellers must be left unhappy with their wants. Okay, so scarcity exists. Now three B, he says. When there is scarcity, equilibrium must not achieve. QD equals to QS, no equilibrium. 
So this is also false. Now think about one situation. In equilibrium, in equilibrium situation, QD is exactly equals to QS. But as you remember, equilibrium, there can be market price, right? Am I? You get with your market price, well, then you know. When there is a price, it implies there must be price competition. With competition, it must mean there is scarcity. Okay, done that. So, la, learn go do mom. Remember, scarcity and shortage surplus, they have no direct relationship. The only the only relationship here is that is that if there is surplus or shortage, then there must be scarcity. You cannot go this way. No, 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 not this way. Okay, this is the only acceptable um, argument. Only acceptable logic in this topic. Okay, done now. So moving on. Here, here shows you the table of chilled chicken and live chickens in two different years. Okay, now part A asks you to calculate the relative price. I mean, in terms of chilled chicken. So let's do it. In two O X O. The relative price would be here. Let's see. To buy one live one live chicken is to give up. Let's see how many chill chicken is to give up. This amount of chilled chickens. Okay, now boys, in your homework, many of you miss this. Don't miss this. Steps are important. You say step, ga da m da. You don't want to skip it. It's four points, okay? Now let's do it again. Two o x five. To buy one live chicken, you are giving up three chilled chickens. Okay, so that is part A. Now for part B, it asks, it asks. Now suppose the demand is the same, okay? Now using the law of demand, we need to explain whether people will consume relatively more chill chicken or live chicken. Okay, now here, let's apply our law of demand. In two o x five, you see that the relative price of uh, live chicken. How did it change? Two point four to three. It actually increased. So that would mean the relative quantity of live chicken would decrease, or relative quantity of Chilled chickens would increase. Okay, now again, again, I don't want to spend too much time explaining here. This is basically the law of demand: higher the price, lower the QD. Higher the relative price, lower the relative QD. If you're still struggling, again, I suggest you go back to the video that I talk about relative price. Okay, so. Let us move on to the long questions. Oh my, long questions. Now here, part A. It asks. Now this one, they show you maize supply schedule. Okay, it asks whether the law of supply is consistent here. Now law of supply, come here. Law of law of supply states that higher the price, higher the QS. Other things being constant, right? Now let's check. Here, definitely higher the price, higher the QS. So yes, this is consistent. Okay, I'm sorry, Sikana. Well, now the following table shows 
two other suppliers supply schedule for school bags okay now Sam and and May question says suppose the three are the only suppliers in, in the market we need to find a market supply schedule now how do we do it quite easy okay now QS units we add up all the quantity at different prices for all the sellers for example at two hundred dollars we have four eight zero zero two zero 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 four four zero zero so all of them adding together we will have one one two zero zero right Right? This is the logic behind. You just basically add all QS of all individuals. Okay? I'm going to the QS in different prices. Okay? So here, now let me do some simple calculation. Okay, my calculator, my cal where, where is it? Where is it? My calculator here. Now let me quickly do the maps for you. Here is twenty k, and the next one should be. Two eight eight zero zero. Next one. Three seven six zero zero. And finally, four six four zero zero. Okay, that would be our market supply schedule. All right, now this is not too difficult, not too difficult. Now, here, the following table shows the market demand. Now, we need to know what is the quantity price, uh, equilibrium price and quantity in this situation. Now, please, please, read the questions carefully. What is the the equilibrium price and quantity the question is not what is equilibrium price what is equilibrium quantity but what is the equilibrium price and quantity 有些人啊,將equilibrium price and quantity 那個definition抄出來啊 some of you copy the definition of equilibrium ok you miss out the word the equilibrium price and quantity ok so let's copy the table QS here, one one two zero zero two zero 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 two eight eight zero zero. When will we achieve equilibrium? It is achieved when QD equals to QS. So here, C one, we know that the equilibrium price is four hundred dollars right here. Four hundred dollars right here. And the equilibrium quantity being two eight zero 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 units. Okay, now here, C two. At five hundred dollars, excess demand or excess supply. More more no five hundred. We have more QS than QD. QS 太多, QD 太少,是不是就得咗呢sell出來啊? We call this excess supply then how many units excess supply of three six three seven six zero zero minus this one then I think is one six nine zero zero units okay now for C3 that is excess demand and also these units Okay, so this is the full question 
which I think is actually quite easy to be completely honest. All right, now finally, let's go to the final question. Here, the final question. Now, won the medal. Uh, uh, give a sports demonstration during their visit. The ticket price set at twenty dollars. At twenty dollars. Now, all tickets were sold out within an hour. Zhu Yanyu Gogo. Many people were unable to get one. Unable to get one. This is too much. Not enough. So this is a shortage because not enough. All right. Now it says number of tickets was fixed. This is important. All right. Important. Now we need to draw a diagram to explain this situation. First, when it says the tickets number of tickets are fixed, it means. The supply curve being a fixed supply. Okay, now demand is our normal demand. Now we are having a problem with shortage. That means we are below equilibrium. Okay, I mean this is our equilibrium. Below equilibrium, twenty dollars here. Finally, label our shortage. This would be the shortage that we are having. Okay, this is a shortage at twenty dollars. Okay, now to explain it, we say price below equilibrium, leading to Q S smaller than Q D. That is a shortage. Okay, done that. Now to B. Explain whether the full cost. Now, first of all, remember when we talk about full cost, full cost, the idea equals to monetary cost cost plus plus non-monetary costs. Okay. Now here, obviously, we need to pay twenty dollars, but we also need to pay a lot of non-monetary costs. For example, our time cost. Alternative use of time. Maybe I go to buy the ticket. I can actually go home and sleep, or re revise for our economics. Then we also lose that value. So the answer is no. Okay, no N is more than not necessarily twenty. Maybe. Maybe higher than twenty because of non-monetary part. Okay, done that. So that would be all for our chapter eight homework. So the next video we are going to talk about chapter nine homework, which is also closely related to this chapter. Until then, I see you next time.